Hello there, my name is Anthony Barocas of Stream for Us, and today I wanted to talk a little bit about setting up your vMix for doing live streaming with remote guests. What I have here is this is the computer that I'm doing vMix on, and down here is vMix. And one of the key things that I've set up is I have this multi view right here. And uh, let's open this up. And what you can't really see is I've got a window for the presenter, a window for panelist one, a window for panelist two. And this over here is the uh, program. And this is being sent to each of my remote callers, which are all up here so that they can see each other during the show because normally what happens is you will only see the program you will only see what happens so if there's a bunch of slides being presented everybody only sees the slides that go up on the screen they don't get to see each other and there's normally a lot of nonverbal communication that goes on nodding and wait 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 i want to tell you something you know you're leaning in and things like that and i find that when you have a panel or you've got two people that want to talk to each other, those nonverbal cues are really important. So I wanted to find a way so that <clears throat> they could always see each other during the presentation, but also see the program. And the way I built this is I created, I brought in a background. So, and to do that, you just bring in an image and let's see, chalkboard. So I've got this nice chalkboard that I bring in. And then over top of this thing with the multi view, you have 10 layers. So the first thing I wanted to do is I wanted to bring in my presenter. Second thing is panelist one. Third thing is panelist two. And then obviously you have to resize those. So let me size this one down, size this one down. So basically you're building a multi-view without using the quote virtual set. So there's one, it's not as small. I mean, I'm not gonna be as particular on this one just because you. this is just for understanding the concept. Uh, in the one that I built, there's crops on the side too. So you can see uh, presenter, panelist one, panelist two, and you could do as many panelists as you want. Now, the key thing in doing this, I and mean, I'm going to close this, is <clears throat> I want to see program. So if program is this multi-view, <clears throat> if you look at this, this is going to also show the multi-view. So this, it says, you know, audience view. I added text so they are able to understand what they're looking at here. So when I cut this, you can see it appears right here. If I go to the slide deck and I put the slide deck up, that slide deck appears as the program in this window. And then I also have a clock because very often they need to keep to a certain time, you know, keep mindful of the time. So I give the clock on the presenter view and of course my logo so they can know who's doing this. Now, how do I get the program, which is going to record and to stream into the multi view? That is you come down here on external, open up your settings for external, and what I did was output one is, is the output and I turn NDI on. So then let's go back into the one that we're building. We add multi view and then for input number six, I'm uh, going to say, actually, you know what? I skipped a step. So let me come down here and I say what I do is I actually have an input that is probably, here it is, collapsed. NDI desktop. So one of the inputs you can add is NDI, and of course these are not in alphabetic order. So NDI desktop. VMix sees the signal it's sending out on NDI. So I input this signal. I'm not going to do it now because, uh, okay, cancel, because I already have it. So here's my NDI desktop. And then <clears throat> in the multi view, down here, I select my NDI desktop, boof, and I position that, make it smaller, put it in the corner, 
and then go back to multi view and then I add my clock is really big and we take that and we size it down we put it in the corner obviously like I said I'm doing this really sloppy but just so you understand the concept and then overlay 9 multi view overlay 9 is the text no not that text uh, text there we go presenter view and I can move that to where I want it so presenter guest guest program just some text telling them that this is the audience view and a clock so that's a quick and dirty way of, of building this multi view one thing that I find that's actually kind of handy when working with multi views especially when you don't have um, anybody in there is you could you could do your own vmix call into each of your boxes in, into each of your calls and then what you get is and then hang up and then you get a still image of yourself that you can move around that's actually really handy uh, in lieu of that what I often do is I come up and I do my color correction I add a little bit of brightness and then I add a color so this way when I come down to my multi view it makes it easy to see what is what because I've got color and then when I'm done with that I just go back up here I hit the reset button and all is good and what this enables me to do is this is the feed that goes out to my guests the last step in that is I have to go back into my external feeds this is number 30 so what I do is output 30 input 30 input 30 input 30 is going to be my output 4 I say okay so this multi view when I come up here I'm gonna say my this guest gets output 4 this one gets output 4 this one gets output 4 so these three people not uh, the person who the mo the person who's introducing the show she doesn't she's not going to be involved in the discussion so she doesn't need that she's only going to be getting program but the moderator and the two guests are all going to be getting the special multi view so that during you know slides could be up they're talking about different programs and things like that they can all still see each other this is what they are going to see this is what the audience sees this is the stream this is the program and then that way they are able to non-verbally communicate with each other nodding and everything so they feel like they have an audience they're not just speaking to a camera because on their device whether it be a laptop or an iPad or whatever they're going to see this multi view they're going to see the other people they're talking to and that I think really does assist in this remote production more so than just seeing the program in which case then it's just them speaking to a device in front of them looking at a slide you know whether it be this is the slide they're talking about and it's more difficult than seeing the slide but also seeing the faces of other people responding to them as they talk whether it be smiling nodding in agreement laughing or, or whatever I think that really does assist in panel events where people are able to see each other now the key uh, aspect of what I do with this is you can see my voice is coming over here on channel B um, all of the guests are coming into A and B and I listen to A so I don't listen to my own voice and I'm able to talk to them the whole time because each of the guests are all going to be listening to B and they're able to hear the program they're able to hear each other but they're also able to hear me and I am not part of the program so that that way if I need to tell them uh, we're two minutes out we're one minute out I'm speaking in their ears but my voice is not being carried as part of program. And that's just a little bit of how I leverage. Uh, I'm going to reverse the camera. That's just a little bit of how I leverage vMix for my uh, remote guest interactions. I hope this has proven helpful to you. Um, I would say like and subscribe and all that stuff. But <laughs> I don't have that big of a channel. So uh, do what you want. Um, 
My name is Anthony Barocas of Stream for Us and Aiba Communications. Thanks for watching.